welcome back to my channel and welcome to an exciting video. We are going to talk all things weight loss goals for the year 2020. I have been deep in thought on all of my goals for the upcoming year. I've written them down. I've scratched them out and written new ones. I've thought long and hard about what my weight loss goals are going to be for the year 2020. What tools am I going to use to get there and what are my plans to reach my goals in the upcoming year. So if you wanna hear all about my goals for 2020, just stay tuned. So let's get started on this year's goals. I do want to preface right into my goals with a few things. So first of all, as I mentioned in my changes for my YouTube channel video, if you haven't seen that, I will link it down in the description box below for you guys. But I did make mention of 2019 and that 2019 did not go 100% as I had planned when I started out the year. There were some things that I had on my goals list that I wasn't able to achieve. And again, it just didn't go as great as I thought or hoped that it would. Now, don't get me wrong, 2019 was a great year in so many aspects. But as far as like weight loss goals and things that did not quite go as planned, and I have no one to blame other than myself, and I take full responsibility for not achieving those goals in 2019. But now that it's 2020, a new year, a new decade, I have a new rejuvenation and zest for my WW program. So my goals all revolve around that new rejuvenation for the program. It's always nice to start out a new year. It's kind of like getting a new fresh set of points, a new fresh set of weeklies. It just re-motivates you and gets you excited for the upcoming year. So that is exactly what has happened for me for 2020. So with that being said, not meeting all of my goals in 2019 is a little bit of a bummer, but at the same time, I'm okay with that because I had so many great things that I did achieve in 2019. So I wanted to just give you a quick reminder that your journey is your journey. Our journeys vary from person to person. The amount of weight that we lose varies from person to person. Life happens, things come up, we struggle, weight loss goes on the back burner. It's completely okay. And it's okay for us to not always meet our goals. They're goals. They're not things that we absolutely positively have to achieve or else. They are our goals. Things that help motivate us, keep us on track. So just keep that in mind. Never be too hard on yourself for not achieving your goals. And definitely don't ever judge or be hard on others if they don't achieve the goals that you've set out for them because they're your goals, maybe not theirs. And it's really honestly none of your business what other people do on their weight loss journey. So just keep that in mind. Focus on yourself, focus on your goals. And just because you don't or your friends don't or your families don't or your favorite YouTuber doesn't always achieve the goals that they had set out for, that's okay. They're humans just like the rest of us. And it's certainly not our place to judge. So away from that, let's talk about my goals for 2020. And I have some fun and exciting goals coming my way. So let's jump right into my weight loss goals for 2020. These are my goals. These are the, the things I'm shooting for. These are the things that I'm hoping to come back and report at the end of 2020 that I have achieved. And some of them are very lofty. Some of them are a little on the less lofty side, which gives me a little bit of room to maybe do a little bit more. And in the event that it happens a little bit less, that's okay as well. So goal number one for 2020 is my goal is to track six days per week. So one day a week is a non-tracking day for me. It's generally the day that I use my weeklies. So my goal for 2020 is to make sure that I am tracking six days a week. And that's just not tracking. That's honestly tracking. Good, bad, ugly, whatever goes into my mouth goes into my tracker. That is my first goal for 2020. I am a pretty good tracker for the first part of the day and come towards dinner and after dinner is when I start to get a little lax with my tracking. So in 2020, I'm committing myself to six days a week of honest and complete tracking. Everything that goes into my mouth goes into my tracker six days a week. Number two is a bit of an activity or fitness school. So if you follow my channel, you know that I started Jazzercise back in October and I'm absolutely loving it. I converted the exercise room in my home into the office that you see here. Best decision I ever made and that goes right in hand with Jazzercise. When I started Jazzercise and fell in love with it, I decided that I was going to take out the exercising at home equation and put it into the hands of Jazzercise. And again, I am loving it. In fact, I went today, I went this morning. So my goal for 2020 is to go to Jazzercise a minimum of three times per week. Now, the more the merrier. If I can make it four, five, six, or even seven times a week, 
fabulous. But there are weeks that are busy. There are things that happen. Being a realtor, sometimes I'm extremely busy with my clients that it's a stretch for me to even make it three times a week. But my goal for 2020 is to make a class three plus times per week. And I know that I can do it because I really enjoy that part of exercising. So it, I'm excited to go to my classes. It's just working them into my daily schedule. So three times a week or more going to jazzercise. Goal number three is eat more real food. I find myself, and actually I've gotten a little bit better over the last few months, but I find myself leaning towards more processed foods for snacks than real food for snacks. So I'm leaning for the bags of chips the built bars, the uh, muffins, those types of things. I'm leaning towards that versus leaning towards real food. Now, don't get me wrong. I will continue to have a built bar every morning as my morning snack because it is, it is the one thing that keeps me full between breakfast and lunch. But instead of reaching for those chips or those processed snacks, I'm gonna be trying to reach for more real food. Yogurt as snacks, maybe cottage cheese with some fruit and some croutons. Fruit, fruit is a great snack and just making better choices when it comes to snacking throughout the day. I generally have a morning snack and an afternoon snack. My morning snack will be Built Bar till the day I die, basically. And then my afternoon snack is where I'm going to be making that more real food, whole food choice for my afternoon snack. And for dessert, it's whatever sounds good to me. I really enjoy having smart sweets, sometimes a smart muffin. I make a parfait out of smart cakes and yogurt. So that is kind of up in the air. It's just that afternoon snack and any other snacks that I may throw in throughout the day. I'm just going to make a concentrated effort to make it more real, whole food. And that way I have a balance. Life is all about balance. WW is all about balance. It's all about making good choices. So if I can make a great choice for one or two snacks a day, then I'm not hard on myself when I make maybe a less great choice for the other snacks throughout the day. So more real food, more whole food for my snacks. Goal number four is to weigh in once per week at my WW workshop. Now I know a lot of you are online only members. A lot of you follow maybe a different app than the Weight Watchers app such as iTrack Bites and you weigh in at home. And fantastic for you that you actually are consistent on weighing in even whether it's at home or at a friend's or at the gym or wherever you're weighing in on a regular basis. Now for me, I need the accountability of going to my WW workshop and weighing in in front of the coach, whatever they're called, the person that weighs you in at the workshops, guide. I think it's a wellness guide. So weighing in in front of her, I need that accountability. And I also need that meeting every week to refresh me and get me motivated for the next week. So my goal is to go to my workshop every week. It may not always be on Friday, just kind of depends on what my schedule looks like for the week, but to go to a workshop every week and to weigh in. And with that, that means filming a weigh in video for you every week of 2020. So you will be having 52 weigh in videos. So I'll go over what we talked about at the workshop. I'll go over my weigh in results. We'll share ups, downs, trials, tribulations, positives, negatives of my week. And we'll talk through the topic that was discussed at the workshop. So this next year, there will be 52 weigh-ins at my WW workshop and 52 weigh-in slash workshop recap videos. Goal number five, my goal is to have four or more rollovers every day. Now I follow the green plan, so we are allowed to have our rollovers and those will go into my weeklies and I'll touch on weeklies next. But my goal is to, at the end of every day, have four or more rollover points that will fall into my weeklies that I can use later on. That helps me stay a little closer to where I wanna be calorie wise. And it also allows me to roll over those extra points into my weeklies to use later in the week for an indulgence or a splurge or a treat day. So for me, having four or more weeklies a day, rollover is my goal. So my rollover goal is six days a week because there's one day a week and that is the week day that I use my weeklies. That's the next thing that we're gonna talk about. So four plus points a day to roll over into my weeklies every single day with the exception of one. So six days a week, four plus rollover points. So speaking of weeklies, that's next. 
So my goal is to use my weeklies once per week. Sometimes I will fluctuate where I'll break it up throughout the week if I have a couple different special occasions or a couple different things that I want to indulge in. I'll take my weekly points and I'll break them up. But in 2020, I'm going to commit to using them only once per week. And it's okay if I don't use them all. And that is what I call my treat day. It is generally on Saturday. It's when I go to breakfast, lunch, or dinner with my husband. It's the day that I have some of my favorite things that I'm not going to be having throughout the other six days of the week. So I'm going to be saving up my weeklies and my rollover points to use on my treat day. That's why it's important that I have those four rollover points. That's an additional 24 plus points that will go into my bank every single week to use on my treat day. So not only am I going to be using my weeklies, but it also gives me the ability to use those rollover points as well if need be. Now I may not always use all of my weeklies, but they're there if I need to use them. Maybe I wanna go have one or two meals out on a Saturday and I just need those extra points to make it through my treat day. Now, I have used my weeklies from the very beginning. You're gonna hear a lot of controversy on whether or not you should use your weeklies. And I say, do it if it works for you. If you find yourself not losing weight, gaining weight, not losing at the rate that you want, take a little hiatus from your weeklies one or two weeks don't use them and see if that makes a difference on the scale some people it makes absolutely zero difference on the scale and other people the using their weeklies can greatly impact their weight loss you just have to figure out what works best for you and do it now for me using my weeklies doesn't seem to impact my weight loss if i don't use them or i do use them it seems like i lose about the same every week so one day a week as a treat day where I use my weeklies. My number six goal for 2020 is to drink at least 80 ounces of water per day. So basically that is four 16 ounce, is that right? No, five, five 16 ounce bottles of water per day. So basically I either take those water bottles and I drink six plus of those, or I put them into a water bottle with lime, which is my favorite thing. I also really enjoy having the built boost mixed into water when I need that little extra boost throughout the day or as a pre-workout. But my number six goal for 2020 is 80 ounces of water a day. And I always have coffee in the morning, so I can go ahead and have that, but from coffee until I hit that 80 ounces, there are no other liquids. There's no diet soda, there's no sparkling water, there's nothing until I've reached the goal of 80 ounces of water. Then I can indulge in another type of a beverage. Maybe it's a diet pop, maybe I want a LaCroix sparkling water, or maybe I want an extra packet of Built Boost in a bottle of water. But I have to achieve 80 ounces every single day, even on my treat day, before or I can indulge in any other type of zero point beverage. And number seven kind of ties hand in hand with that 80 ounces of water per day. And that is no more than one diet pop per day. So I usually buy it by the can. So it helps me control the amount that I'm drinking, but sometimes I'll have a diet pop with lunch and dinner. So in 2020, I'm limiting myself to one per day day. Now, again, I have to drink that 80 ounces of water before I can have that diet pop. So chances are it's going to end up being at dinner or in the evening where I actually get to have that treat to that diet pop. Number nine is no eating past six PM. And I know that this sounds really early, but for those of you that didn't know, I'm a grandma and I go to bed about eight o'clock every night. I love mornings. I get up super early between four and 5 a.m. And that's my time to just kind of be me and zen out and relax and enjoy the quiet, peaceful morning. So I'm an early to bed, early to rise kind of girl. So by cutting my eating time off at 6 p.m. works really well for me. I generally eat dinner be between five and six. It allows me time to eat dinner and have dessert and nothing else after 6 p.m. Now I do not do any type of intermittent, intermittent fasting, but I find that I sleep better if I allow myself three to four hours of no eating before really getting into a deep sleep, minimum of two hours, and that's why I have that 6 p.m. cutoff. And also I find that it helps with my weight loss. If I'm really not eating too much past 6 p.m. or a couple hours before I go to bed. Now, can I drink past that time? Of course, so I can have some hot tea, which is something I will generally do if I'm feeling a little bit munchy because the flavor of that tea just kind of fills that void of wanting food. I'll have water. I can even have the rest of my diet soda for the day if that happens past 6 p.m. But no eating past six. Now there will be some exceptions to this rule and that's if I am out showing properties or in the office 
too late to have dinner before six but these will be far and few between probably be able to count on one hand how many days in the upcoming year that i eat past 6 p.m this is a huge goal for me this is something that i started out really good about and it's just kind of literally went to the wayside in the trash can the last six months of 2019 so it is definitely one of my top goals for 2020 and that is to really focus on not eating past 6 p.m and you know if life happens life happens but it's certainly not the norm the norm will be no food kitchen closed past 6 p.m and number 10 is my weight loss goal so i saved this for number 10 because this is probably the scariest part of my goals for 2020 and i really thought long and hard about whether or not i even wanted to put this on this video because i know being a youtuber being someone on social media you guys are going to hold me to this and if it doesn't happen at the end of 2020 i'm only going to hear about it and there's already so much negativity in this world in this community on youtube as a social media influencer i didn't want to automatically bring this additional negativity towards myself but the reason i decided to share this on my channel is because again it is accountability and it is the goal that i have set for myself and i am fully honest and transparent with you on my channel so if i didn't share this with you i don't feel like i would be myself and i would be the gen that you expect me to be and that is honest transparent through the good through the bad i share that with you on my channel and i know that you guys really appreciate that so with my weight loss goal for 2020 in the event that it doesn't happen and i'm it's gonna happen you guys i'm 100 percent i'm committed to this goal but if it doesn't happen i don't need to hear it from the outside world i don't need any of your your feedback or your commentary on that particular goal because it's my goal for my journey and it doesn't involve you other than seeing how i'm doing throughout my journey and i hate that i even have to say this on my channel but i do and i want to make it clear that this is a goal that i've set for myself so this is my goal so let's stop with that part and let's talk about my weight loss goal because i'm really excited about this you guys my goal for 2020 is to lose a minimum now this is the minimum Again, the more, the merrier. If I can lose more than this, fan, freaking tastic. But my bare minimum weight loss goal for 2020 is 50 pounds. So I have a goal to lose 50 pounds in the year of 2020. Now, I think that that is completely doable. It's, I almost said more as my goal, but when I thought about it, I didn't want to set myself up for failure for myself. I didn't want to be too hard on myself as the year progresses. So I think 50 pounds is a very fair goal. Now, would I like to lose a little bit more? Of course, and maybe that will happen, but that's a little bit loftier. So I'm going with a goal that I think is 100% doable. If I do the other nine things we just talked about throughout the year, I don't see why I can't hit that 50 pounds lost goal. So my goal is to lose 50 pounds in 2020, 50 or more pounds in 2020 and you guys are going to be right along you're on the ride with me because i'll be filming a weigh-in video every week so you're going to be able to see how i'm doing as the weeks go on and you can be here to cheer me on when i get 10 pounds lost 20 pounds lost and so on and so forth so that is my actual number weight loss goal for 2020 there are a few tools that I'm going to use to help me along the way and help me reach these 10 goals that I've set for 2020. And one of them is planning my meals. You know that I meal prep every single Sunday. It goes up on Mondays as meal prep Monday. It's something that I've done pretty much since I started my channel. And I really feel that it's contributed a lot to my success so far on WW is planning out my meals, prepping my meals and having something at a moment's notice, a reach away that's WW friendly. And you know, if you follow my channel, in order to plan my meals, I use my meal planner. So this is one of the new Carrie L meal planners. She just came out with a bunch of new covers. You guys, isn't this stunningly gorgeous? So this is the planner that I purchased for 2020 from Carrie L. I just love this flower print and this font. It's literally absolutely stunning. And this has been a life saver for me in 2019. I plan all of my meal prep, breakfast, lunches, snacks through the week, and my dinners all in my carryout meal planner. So of course, logic would say, let's continue the trend and continue to use my carryout meal planner into 2020. So this is my new one. 
it's ready to go for January 1st and I can't wait to use my new meal planner. It's so exciting and to continue to plan my meals and my meal prep for 2020. I do have 10% off for Carrie L. It is linked down in the description box below. So make sure you check it out. If you're looking for a great meal planner, Carrie L is in my opinion, top notch. I can't wait to use my new one. And the other tool that I'm going to be using to plan, to track, to stay on track is my Erin Condren planner. This one is customized with my initials. I made this in 2019. So I've been using out it the last half of the year and I love this. This thing tracks my life. It tracks my day to day life, but it also tracks my weight loss. I record my weigh ins in here. I give myself a little star on the day of each month that I've met my food goal that I've stayed within my points. It's just such a great tool to have a planner on hand, not only to plan your life, but to plan your weight loss. And I really think that it helps you overall. It helps you stay on track in your day-to-day -day life, and it also helps you keep better at a glance track of your weight loss. I track everything in my planner, everything from my monthly cycle to every pound I gain or lose in my planner. And I can look back over the months and see kind of where I had my successes and my failures. So highly recommend the Erin Condren. I don't have an affiliate link, but if you sign up for their inside club and it's free. It's basically like their membership to Erin Condren. There's no fees, no sign up fee, no monthly fee, no fees at all. You will get $10 off your first order. So I'll link that down below for you guys as well. Just sign up and you'll get $10 off of your first Erin Condren order. So between my carry -all meal planner and my Erin Condren planner, I am set for 2020. So those are my top 10 goals for 2020 and a little bit of extra fun on the side. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and hearing about my goals. I can't wait to have you be my biggest cheerleaders and support me through this next year in obtaining my goals because again, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so motivated and rejuvenated for my program that I can't wait to kick 2020 in the you know what. So I want to hear down in the comments, what are some of your goals for 2020? I think it's really important to write your goals down, but even sharing them with others I think makes a big difference because you have that accountability that you've put your goals out there. So share with me down in the comments what your goals are for 2020. If you're not comfortable sharing a numbers goal for weight, for weight loss, please, you never ever have to do anything you're uncomfortable with. We are friends. We are here to support you, but I'd love to hear about your goals. Make sure you head over to my Facebook group. It's on the screen here. Join my group. We have almost 12,000 members and it's a great place to really feel secure in sharing your struggles, your successes. There is where you're going to find in a group of 11,000 cheerleaders that are going to support you on your journey. Great tips, tricks, all things shared on my Facebook group. And lastly, if you're new, welcome. I hope that you stick around. If you just started WW, congratulations on picking the best weight loss program out there. If you work the program, the program works. It's sustainable. It's something you can do lifelong. So congratulations on making that choice. If you're up in the air on whether you want to join WW, Again, it's the best program out there. I do have a link down in the description box that'll give you a free month. You get a free month, I get a free month. It gives you the chance to try out WW and see if it's the right program for you. And make sure, no matter what, that you're subscribed to my channel and you've hit that little bell so you're notifi notified whenever I upload because let me tell you, I have some amazing videos coming your way in 2020. We're gonna talk all things reaching our goals. We are gonna have a recipes galore. It's going to be such a great time, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And I wanna end with a big, big thank you for all of your support throughout 2019. It seriously means the world to me to have you guys have my back and be my biggest support in cheerleaders. I'm excited for 2020. I'm excited to hit that 50 pounds loss. I'm excited to actually make 2020 better than 2019. That's exactly what we are to do every time a new year happens is make it better than the year before. So thank you for coming along with me. Thank you for still being on this ride with me. We have so much further to go together and we can do whatever we set our minds to. I love you guys more than I can even ever tell you. Thank you for your support and of course, I'll see you in my next video. Happy 2020. Bye, guys. Funny how the story goes. Little hope but bigger dreams. Uh -huh.